I'm gonna go iPod Linux Manager Enter Um Hold on No, that doesn't work actually Just type in iPod Linux, and um, under Article Matches, I'll be iPod Linux Manager, and you want to click on that. Then you go down to the Windows version, if that's what you have, or Linux version, or whatever you use. I use Windows, and you click on um, the download file, and now it's going to download it. Jake Peter. screen sucks. Now, you want to do the same thing, extract all files, next, next, I gotta check to make sure, okay. And now you see all the things. You want to go to iPod Linux Manager. Um, it does this, and it will take a while. It shows your iPod, you know, your model, and what it's doing. And I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to after it has, um, after it installs, you know, just to save time because this is very long. Okay, now it has finished downloading. It says right here, success. It's been successfully installed. You hit finish. Um, you can just go ahead and close out of that stuff. Minimize your internet though because, um, okay, now you look at your iPod and you hold down menu in the select button and it will restart. Now you choose, you know, your Apple, iPod Linux, disk mode, sleep, all that. That's iPod Linux right there. Mine has um, has a problem with this one. It says file unknown, the bin and all. So what you do is you is it loading? Then you just kind of like load back. You turn it off. You hold down the middle and menu button again. will restart then you hold down the middle and the play button to put it in disk mode and mine has troubles connecting to my computer because as you can see in your right I'm running an older computer and it hates my iPod
Okay, now it's connected, finally. Um, now you can go into my computer. Open up your iPod. And all except for the original, you know, files that came on it. Uh, you can delete them. And what comes on yours is calendars, contacts, and notes. So just delete the rest. Okay, now it's deleting them. Hold on, it's gonna take a little bit. And also, you know, an easier way is to go on to iTunes and hit restore, but I don't want to lose all my music, so I'm not gonna do that. And now I'm going to skip forward again.